enjoy the I hope you do. Hope they would suck if you don't. <sighs> oh. Okay, I hope you guys like the new setup. I don't know how this looks or if you like my record or sound. No. Okay. I wanted to be cozy and watch Rocky Cheek today. I don't know if this sounds good at all. I should just test and see. <laughs> Welcome back you guys to my channel and today's topic will be about ley lines and what they are. So this will be part one because I didn't realize how complicated ley lines were <laughs> and how much stuff and things are connected to the ley line. Um, so here is what I found. So for those wondering what ley lines are, ley lines are uh, my, the lights is blinding me give me a second <laughs> why is it blinding? ley lines are that oh my god i can't ley lines are lines that crisscross around the globe like longitude and longitude lines that are dotted with monuments and natural landforms and carry along with them rivers of supernatural energy uh, uh, uh. So how do you find a ley line, you might ask. A lot of people use what are, let me just grab them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this brought more than what I thought it would bring. I'll probably link down in the video what it brought. So I guess that I'll explain that to someone. I brought this thing, and I think it's the water. Those dowsing rods, from what I've learned, are used to find water as well. So ley lines also, <laughs> You can find ley lines, but supposedly. <laughs> I'm so busy. So, can you hear me? You're supposed to put your. I just think. You're supposed to put your, your hands straight in your. You can ask yes or no questions and also find ley lines. So, these are copper. I'm guessing copper because of its connect. How do I say this? <laughs> Um, conductor ability would probably find energy or what, what ley lines would be, which is to me in short, like energy. So, which I didn't know, I thought it was something else. So, this, these are rods. I'm pretty sure a lot of you who watch know what this is, but some people might not. And you could find energy, water, or ghosts with these. So, this is how you could find ley lines. And that's what those dowsing rods are. So anyway, so how do you find ley lines is what I was just saying. You might ask. I am so sorry, editing Maria. How do you find ley lines, you might ask. Those sciences can find no evidence of these ley lines. They can't be detected by magnetic, magnetic, mag, me my English. Blah, blah, blah. They can't be detected by magnet meters or any other scientific devices, hence why I said dowsing rod. Many of the community of New Agers, psychics, and others claim to be able to sense or feel these energies. Ley lines refer to straight alignment and drawn between various prominent landmarks. Straight lines could be drawn between various historic structures and that these represented trade routes we created by ancient British scientists. That's how they have learned about ley lines because in Britain, <laughs> England, there are some famous um, structures that would be the ruins. So, ley lines were associated with sacred site, Hip Brook, place where a known ley line is currently located. I think that's where I was researching that would be up east of America, northeast. Like New York around there. Ley lines are said to connect sites such as the Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Many people believe that a grid. I gotta keep moving around because I don't, I don't want to bore you guys. <clears throat> Let me cut this out. Ley lines are said to connect sites such as Stonehenge and the Great Pyramids of Egypt. Many people believe that a grid of Earth energies cycles the globe. 
connecting important sites and places. So how can I explain to people that don't know my friends? So if you've ever been to a place like New York, New York has a lot of energy. That's where, what's the name of the place I was saying? Hip Brook is located and it's a very powerful ley line. I wanted to read this part too that I found on my research as I researched. Let me read this part of, um, can I talk today? <laughs> Let me read what I found so far from research I did. And this I thought was interesting. And it's a willing to ley line. And this is by the Geo Group, Findings of Power, Dowsing Earth Energy. And I'll put any more information, like links and stuff I found on the description box below for you guys. That the honor of the rediscovery of the ley line system belongs to Alfred Watkins. His basic prostate, I uh, mean my words, postulate, <laughs> is that ancient monument sites align in straight lines. Many ancient sites found on British audience maps can actually be connected to form an incredible coincidence of interconnecting lines. A shortcoming of this particular definition of a ley line is that many ley hunters have assumed that just because three or more sites are aligned, they are therefore automatically on a ley line. This simply is not true. Alignment does not determine the presence of a ley line, although it can act as a supporting evidence for one. That's interesting. The ley line system exists as an independent circuitry and the capacity to affect consciousness, land, Ley lines are part of the Earth's energy system. Monuments serve to reveal or mark the network, making the sites more special by connecting and networking them together. Ley, as a word, is akin to lehit, light illumination, and Middle English lay meaning pasture land, a meadow which is open to the sun and therefore at times drenched with light. This connection of the word lay with light is significant on several levels, physically and the clearing of the track through the forest light away and marks the lay of the, of the land, lay of the land. <laughs> I'll do where the word comes from later, but I'm thinking you guys are more interested of like finding what a lay line is and if any scientific findings have been made because it's been a while. I've heard of ley lines before when I was younger and I always thought it was some sort of like I was confused so do laugh at me. Longitude and latitude. I thought that was ley lines. I didn't think that that was different. So according to sacred destinations ley lines were nothing more than that imaginary line that seemingly connects Two important things. We would have an easier time simply accepting them, but at some point, some other interested parties hijacked the simple ideas and robustly embellished the story. Some claim that ley lines carry a powerful magnetic field, while others say that they hold a psychic power. Still, others are pretty damn sure. That the ley lines are somehow associated with UFO landings or that they are healing properties found in the vortex of ley lines. And this is sourced by Sacred Destination. Please don't fall asleep. Are you asleep? Don't fall asleep yet. Please. And according to the Wikipedia, the ley line refer to straight alignments drawn between various historic structures. That's the same thing I just read in the one. The idea was developed in early 20th century Europe with ley line believers arguing that these alignments were recognized by ancient European societies that really deliberately erected. So according to Arkaj, note that there is no evidence that ley lines were a recognized phenomenon along with ancient European societies and that in attempts to draw them typically rely on li linking together structures that were built in different historical period periods. 
the word lay is related to the lay, li, and the lay, li, and lay. Etymological, etymologic, I killed it. Roadway system upon which people traveled in pre Renaissance time. Uh, what do ley lines feel like? Like water lines, a vertical field extends up from the ley line through homes and buildings. The nature of this field is yang and ed- energetic. A person who sits or lays over a ley line for an extended time will tend to be hyperactive. This can work to your advantage in healing or in situations where extra energy is useful. But if someone is already very energetic, the ley line may cause an unhealthy situation. And if the ley line is negative, the negative aspects of extra energy will be manifested in tension, anxiety, nauseous, upset stomach, and you wanting to throw up, which I think this has come up in some paranormal investigations where they're, they're like, with the EMF is like going crazy. And it, there's some places that might that might be the electric magnetic field and not so much as to paranormal. But they do sometimes connect. It's, that's so confusing to me. <laughs> um, here are some comments from people talking about what standing over a ley line feels like. Energizing, white, fuzziness, light, see, light. They see glowing lines that goes with direction of the flow. Begin to feel like I was weaving, waving, faint, smooth energy. So if you are a sensitive, psychic, psychic medium, anything to do with that, that your senses passes the normal six senses that you have, you might pick up on this ley lines that they talk about. I believe there's definitely one in New York because I've been there and I feel the energy. I know it's just the people. There's a reason why people are drawn to New York. There's New York and I found more here, but I'm just from the top of my head will say New York, um, definitely Arizona. There's a lake of war. Um, California, uh, Las Vegas, definitely. Wisconsin, definitely. And Florida. Those are like the major ones I think of when I think of like well, where would be in like a very powerful energetic. And Puerto Rico is very, as a sensitive, to me, Puerto Rico feels very cream and doesn't feel dense when you're there energy wise. That makes sense. As soon as I came, oh, definitely Pennsylvania. I didn't put that. Pennsylvania is really, it's a different energy that's like dense. And if depending the place, in Pennsylvania, it feels often like like your mind is not like you're like zoning off. What I don't know if that's if I'm getting that right. Leave in the comments below if you like if you've been to a place like this before, what you felt, and if anything that I'm saying from the research like connects to what you felt. So and to be ley lines, megaliths are often found or are associated with ley line and they are often you know man-made they're they are ancient ruins placed by our ancestors and they are huge um i know here for here in pennsylvania there is a place and i would see if that if you hit the rock they sound like bells it's really weird Matitude stone is any rock facing upright or at a straight angle. So these are believed to be like an upright, straight angle. These are like markers for ley lines from our ancestors in like old ancient times. They are negative vortexes and positive vortexes. According to Mattis Center, center of the ley line or where it comes from, it is to the northeast, New York, Maine, the USA. And... There is a known one named o- on- on- Onondaga o- Onondaga Lake in Rochester, New York, the center of Layla. So, um, this fellow named Madisoner, he used to be a stockbroker, if I'm correct, and I'm guessing he went through the dark night of the soul, as they say, and when he um, went through some personal matters and. As he left the stock market and all that stuff and money, 
he went through like a spiritual journey and found himself the lead on it and information and drawn to it. And he has come to the conclusion that ley lines are meant to go to meditate because of the connection of each place and because of the negative vortexes. Um, this is why he says it is good to meditate or pray and pray on these certain locations because that positive energy can negate the negative ones and i have found some negative ones, and they all connect in a strange way 